This is Dabu7. I want to bring to your attention here a document and some things that have just went into motion per October 3rd, where the military apparently has signed off on what they're calling manpower guidance and activation and deactivation of reserve component marines or RC marines ordered to active duty ISO defense support of civil authorities. Now to break that down to you, this is basically saying that these guys are going to be moved to active duty here on American soil to protect civil authorities. Something huge is brewing. There's no other way around it. They are basically saying from this point forward, this is authorized. They also go on to state, which is pretty crazy. They say that all of this can happen very quickly and it will come with little warning. They say that request for federal assistance will come with little warning. As required, the Marine Corps must rapidly mobilize RC units and personnel IAW in this order to respond to threats in the homeland. This is nothing to do with overseas. Every bit of the writing says point blank. It has to do with homeland right here. People have tried to scoff at things in the past like Jade Helm or other big military things that have went down, but this is not one to overlook. They are putting it right there, front and center, making the statement. And this means that they are anticipating nothing short of a civil war, an asteroid impact, an earthquake, tsunami, eruption from a volcano, some kind of major disaster is going to end up hitting that they see coming in the often. I lived through that fateful September of 2001. I don't forget. I sat here on this platform for years trying to tell people to get it together before the next one goes down. I hope you have a plan, folks. I'll leave links below. A lot more interesting talk in here where they start to say that global sourcing request cannot be considered by DCMRA due to rapid deployment required to prevent the loss of life and non-applicability of dwell. Dwell, dwell time is the amount that a person gets to go home to friends and family to get a break from war zones. They're basically saying loss of life and non-applicability of dwell. Like they're not going to get it? Very interesting piece that was just put out here through the DOD and effectively it's the Navy making the call on this one for the Marines in the Navy units. You can see right here it says that this is a memo established from the Department of Na Navy Policy. So, couldn't leave a link. You can read into this more. This is from marines.mil. Follow me on Twitter for more, y'all. It's been Dabu. <clears throat> All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem El I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone because that's why I learned the truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And I'm um, pretty much. You know, what's getting ready to happen is there's getting ready to be, you know, a draft. You know, all you people 
that was a part of the Marines and different, you know, branches of the um, Army, even like the Air Force, you know, the Navy, you know, soon you're going to have to go into war because, you know, this high tension between America and Iran, America and Russia, as well as other different um, countries. So these countries mainly talk about America and other countries too. You know, they have the inside scoop really when they're getting ready to go into a war. And that's what's getting ready to happen. Now, before that happens, what's getting ready to happen over here is a global economic collapse, mainly here in America, but worldwide. All right, it's going to be worse than Venezuela. It's going to be worse than Greece. It's going to be worse than a bunch of these different countries that's going through financial turmoil. So you're going to have the stock market is going to crash. Paper currency is going to be obsolete, meaning it's going to be worthless. You're not going to be able to use it to buy and sell because ultimately the goal of the new world order is to microchip every person on the planet Earth, which if you can receive it, the mark of the, the, mark of the beast is the RFID slash NFC chip implant. That is what the mark of the beast is, and that's the goal of the new world order. That's why these central bankers... They're going to collapse all these different societies. That's the purpose why they have central banks in all these countries. So anytime they want to um, collapse these societies, they can do it easily, all at the same time, to implement that one world currency, that one world government. So this is um, Revelation 12 and 12. Before I go there, this is what Dabo was um, looking at. If y'all want to check this out, so marines.mil. It says, uh, manpower guidance for activation and deactivation of reserve components. Marines ordered to activate duty, ISO defense support of civil authorities. And this was signed 10-3, you know, um, 2019. So this is, you know, the, um, I guess you call this the paperwork, you know, the fine print. So I'm trying to see if I can read some of this. It says, um... Army Reserve, Navy Reserve, Marine Corps Reserve, and Air Force Reserve ordered to active duty to provide assist assistance in response to a major disaster or emergency. So what is that talking about? That's that's going into martial law. All right, there's getting ready to be martial law here in, in America. There's getting ready to be a global economic collapse. There's getting ready to be a recession. They've been saying for months that the recession is months away. So this is what's getting ready to happen. They know the exact date when they're going to implement this. And a natural disaster, what could that possibly be talking about? That could be talking about an EMP attack. Not saying that that's, what's, that's exactly what's going to happen, but this can very well be the natural disaster that's going to take place. Because think about it, an EMP attack could kill 90% of the population over here in America. It can wipe out all electronics and send everybody into civil unrest and stress and turmoil and chaos. That's a perfect scenario for implementing martial law. All right. So this is what's getting ready to happen. This is what's getting ready to come upon America. It says, let me see, I'm just getting to the good points. Let me see. You can always go to the site if you want to do it. I'm just looking for the key things. All right, because this is a lot to read and for the sake of time, because I got to go back to what I was doing. You know, um, I'm going to just make this um, brief. So it says, following a request for federal assistance in response to a major disaster or emergency within the United States, requests for federal assistance will come with little warning. As required, the Marine Corps must rapidly mobilize RC units and personnel I, IAW. This is uh, mad, mad rad men in order to respond to threats in the homeland. So this is going to easily link up with what the FEMA camps and the mark of the beast being pushed, you know, mandatory, like the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16 says. Because if you don't have the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant, 
what's going to happen? You're going to be deemed a terrorist because this is talking about something that's going to take place in the, in the mainland here in America. All right. So all you people that think this is a game is any day now. And this is what we've been prophesying. It says request for federal assistance. OK, let me go down. Let me see. Let me see if I can find some more. All right. It's saying that um, without the consent of the member afflicted, affected, order any unit and any member not assigned to a unit organized to serve as a unit of the Marine Corps reserve to active duty for a continuous period of not more than 120 days, which that's like four months. It says to respond to the governor's request. All right, let's see what else it says here. Um. When you go to number two, B1, it says a governor requests federal assistance in responding to a declaration of a major disaster or emergency within the U.S., right? So that's pretty much the point. You know, if y'all want to check this out, you know, this is the website. This is what it will look like when you go on the site, marines.mil. Just go on there. Or you could go to um, Dabu's, you know, video. And it's the first link right there if you want to check it out. But this is dealing with an attack on the threat, you know, that happens within the United States of America. Dealing with a natural disaster, all right, which would definitely involve FEMA camp and, you know, the guillotines and, you know, just civil unrest and mass microchipping. All right. So this is in the Bible. Martial law is in the Bible. This is Revelation 12 and 12, and this is what John the Revelator seen. This is one of his visions that he's seen. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. So John the Revelator, he received this vision, and he was seeing what was going on. He was saying, Woe. Woe means death, you know, destruction unto you, to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil, and the word devil means deceiver, Who's the ultimate deceiver? The, the central bankers? But what nation and sea line do the, do the central bankers come from? The Edomites, the so-called white race. That's, that's your lineage. That's where y'all descend from. All right? So it says, The devil has come unto you having great wrath because he knows that he have but a short time. Yeah, it's any day now. The elites of this society, they're getting old. So it's time for them to implement this new world order. So since they get old and they're starting to die one by one, it's time for them to speed this up. Because a lot of the ones that died, they wanted to live to be able to see the new world order fully established. But a lot of them is dying. They didn't get to see that. So now they got to come down with great wrath. Now all these legislations is being passed and all these bills is being signed. Because they're getting ready to do something. And it's any day now. This is why us brothers, mainly us brothers of Great Millstone... You know, what are you what are you being lazy for? There's a lot of articles and information that's out here. You shouldn't be lazy. You should be alert. You should be paying attention to the prophecies. You shouldn't just wait for the apostles to get on you through the spirit and power of your Hawa Bashim to do videos and watch for the prophecies. Don't you don't you want your Hawa to come back? You tired of the world, right? Then you gotta do what your Hawa wants. Prove to your Hawa and your Hawa that you really want him to come back. Glorify him. This is Jeremiah 30 and 5. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. We're not in a time of peace. We're in a time of war. We're in a time of the downfall of the Edomite Empire worldwide. And like I said, the, the biblical Edomites is the seed line of the so-called white race today. All right, which they're not white. They're actually red. But I say white so you can identify who I'm talking about. All right. So this is a time of fear and trembling. Martial law, riots, civil unrest, uprising, uprisings against the government, mass death, the end of feminism, the end of public assistance and government benefits. This is the times that we're living in. Pure anarchy. Verse 6, actually now, and see whether a man do travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turning of paleness, meaning feeble and weak. So what type of time period is this going to be dealing with in this lifetime that's going to have men feeble and weak? That's going to have men powerless. Because you got a lot of people in this society, you know, they, they think that they did everything right. They feel like 
Yeah, we went to college. We registered to vote. We got degrees. You know, we have an honest living. But all that is going to be in vain, though, because there's going to be a global economic collapse here. Mainly here in America, the stock market is going to crash. All you people, you're going to lose your 401k. All your money that you saved up for is going to be worthless. All the money you got saved in your savings account, because all these banks, they're declaring bankruptcy. So that's going to have people weak. No more vacations. No more laughing giggles and not giving the F no more. Now you're going to care because you're going to be affected by it. Verse 7, alas for that day is great so that none is like it. So the day of Jacob's trouble, dealing with the Jacob trouble in this time period, this is going to be the greatest event. It's going to be far worse than slavery and any other event that's happened on the planet Earth that you thought was, you know, um, bad. It says, it is even a time of Jacob's trouble, which the biblical Israelites, the true descendants of Jacob, is a sea line of the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. All right? It's going to be a time of trouble for you. Because a lot of you are coons. A lot of you, you don't really you don't really worship the God of Israel and his only begotten son like how you should be doing. A lot of you don't even fear the Lord. A lot of you don't want to repent. A lot of you don't even want to acknowledge that you're Israelites. A lot of you want to just live the American dream, live a lawless, wicked life without fear and judgment. A lot of you want to follow the way of the heathen. So you're going to get caught up in this. Ultimately, everybody's going to get caught up as in everybody's going to be affected by the global economic collapse. But the only difference is, according to Revelation 3 and 10, that what? Yahweh Shah is going to be on our side. He's going to be protecting us. The us, I'm talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. The Israelites that acknowledge their heritage, their culture, that acknowledge and repent. That repentant and that's doing the works of the Lord, like how they should be doing. Not being fucking lazy. Verse continuing on, but he shall be saved out of it. And the he's talking about is the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, the Israelites that's going to repent. Now, I made a quote with a global economic collapse. That means prostitution is going to soar. Hyperinflation definitely is going to soar. A lot of people are going to be getting killed during this time. A lot of home invasion or uh, burglary. This is going to be the end of feminism. Women is not going to be strong in this day. See, and they strong right now because the societies are afloat and the so-called white men, the Edomites, they give them rights. You know, women's liberation, which was invented so they can tax women and make more money off of them. All this is going to be done away with. A woman, you know, looking good, but she's a lesbian. All that's going to be done away with. Playing hard to get. See, the times that we're coming into... A lot of women, they're going to be ravaged. They're going to be raped. Just look at different societies that go through a, a economic collapse. What happens to the woman? Pride disappears. So all these women that walk around, they're showing their camera toe, they, they're just being hoarse. We think what's going to happen to them. They're going to be ravished, killed, and beaten that day. I'm not advocating that. That's just what happens during a global economic collapse. Do I agree with feminism? Hell no. Micah 7 and 10, then she that is my enemy shall see it. Because you got a lot of brothers in the truth, a lot of us brothers, so-called Hebrew Israelites, you've been with a number of women, and they probably came into the truth with you. But a lot of them, you know, they, they um, left you. They probably left you for somebody else. A lot of them, they're going to think about you in these times to come. They're going to remember, damn, you know, what he was talking about, that happened. And they're going to go... Through the judgment. It says, And shame shall cover her, which say unto me, right? Dealing with these feminist uh, women. Because these women, they only care about their careers. They don't really know how to treat a man. They don't know how to be a servant to their man. They got a problem with being submissive. That's going to be a downfall. That's going to be to your utter destruction. You only want to care about your career. Because the majority of a woman sold us out for the benefits of white supremacy. The benefits of white supremacy, public assistance, Section 8, food stamps, EBT, SNAP. Donald Trump is doing away with that. And when the global economic collapse happens, that's going to be the end of all that. So all this prideful spirit of independence and I don't need a man, what do you think is going to happen to you during these times to come, during martial law, during the EMP attack? You're going to be doomed. Ain't nobody going to want you. The stores are going to be closed down. The food in there is going to rot. 
what are you going to do? There ain't going to be no tampons. A lot of you probably going to be on your period. Some of you might even be pregnant. What do you think is going to happen? It says, was said unto me, where is Yahweh, yet our power? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trotted down as the mire in the streets. So all you women that look down upon the men of your nation, like we did something to you. We're not the ones that rape, robbed, and murdered you during slavery, that humiliated you. We didn't turn you into bed winches. The Edomites did that. All right? But the ones of you that got a vendetta against the men of your nation, you're going to be destroyed. Because you're a traitor. You're a sellout. You like swirling? Well, when the devil show his horns, keep swirling with him. See what's going to happen. He's going to show you his horns. He's going he gonna to kill you. This is Zephaniah 1 and 17. And I will bring distress upon men. And they shall walk like blind men. Because what's going to kick in? The famine of the word. According to Amos chapter 8 verses 11 through 12. Right now, according to Isaiah chapter 55 verses 6 through 7. This is the time where you Hebrew Israelites should be acquiring what's going on in the current um, in the media. And seeking the prophets of the Lord. Because that's how the Lord speaks, according to Luke chapter 1, verse 70. That's how he speaks. So really, you should be seeking the Lord. You should be finding out, what can I do to be saved? What can I do to repent? What can I do to please the Lord? Because all you people, you like to come up to us, oh, you guys are sinners too. I know I'm a damn sinner, duh. I know that. If I wasn't a sinner, I, I wouldn't be here. There would be no purpose for Yahweh Shai. But obviously, Yahweh Shai, he died for the children of Israel, according to Acts 5 and 31, beginning with the elect of the nation of Israel. So, yeah, you don't, you don't got to tell us that we're sinners. We know that already. Why you think we do what we do? But you people, you're going to be blind. Why? Because a lot of you Israelites, you reject your nationality, you reject your heritage, and you openly show it. You make videos, a lot of you that never even have YouTube channels, a lot of you just talk down on the Hebrew Israelites. Oh, these guys are racist, you know? What do you think is going to happen to you for rejecting this knowledge? The Lord is going to reject you. Hosea 4 and 6. You're going to walk like blind men. All these people that make fun and mock the Hebrew Israelites, see what's going to happen to you. Because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh has dung. Because when martial law is implemented, they're going to be able to do whatever the hell they want to do. They're going to have the power to kill whoever they want. Verse 18, neither their, soul, neither their silver nor their gold, because you got a lot of people all oh, invest in silver, invest in gold. According to Revelation 13 and 17, you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you have the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant. So silver, gold, Cryptocurrency, all that's going to be done away with. It says, neither, shall, neither silver, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of jealousy, dealing with the thermonuclear missiles that Russia and their allies, as well as nations that supported the beast, which is our NATO and the EU is going to launch over here. For he shall make them a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. And that's what's coming. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Because these people are prideful. They're very prideful. You people walk without the fear of the Lord. You don't think about, damn, if I do this, there's repercussions, there's judgment. You, you people, you don't care about that. You laugh at judgment. You think judgment is wrong. You got a problem with it. Oh, that's not right. Oh, I don't I don't think that's fair. A creation telling the creator, oh, I don't think that's fair. Oh, I don't like how you're doing that. Like, who the hell are you? Verse 15, for the sword and their destruction, referring to martial law, draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another. The race wars, people protesting. This is what you're seeing, mainly in Hong Kong and worldwide. People rising up against Donald Trump. They want to impeach him. And swords in their hands. Verse 16. And there shall be seditions. A sedition among men. And invading one another. And that's what's going to happen during a global economic collapse. That's why I said women are going to be getting raped. That's what's going to be happening. It's going to be a lot of home invasions. Burglary. That's what's going to happen. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. People is already tired of the government. So when a global economic collapse happens. 
and people are pushed to be in that mindset of survival, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to ignore the rules and regulations and constitution, and they're going to take matters into their own hands, and they're gonna, there's, there's going to be a lot of stealing going on and looting. A man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able to, dealing with martial law. When you look at the FEMA map, it's sectioned off into 10 different regions. A lot of these bridges is going to be closed off. You're not going to be able to travel the way how you want to travel. Because it's going to be under surveillance. It's going to be under martial law. It's going to be curfews. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Because of the lack of bread or for great tribulation. So all you people that's doomsday purpose, that prophecy is going to happen to you. All right? The ones of you that's not a part of the elect, that's what's going to happen to you. Because you thinking you one-upping the God of Israel and his only begotten son? Look, there's, there's rules and regulations set up, such as Executive Order 13603, which allows martial law, you know, the, the troops, the government, to seize all water, all food, all um, power, everything. It gives them control of everything that was signed by Obama. All right? So that's against the law. Storing up food. So you'll see what's gonna happen to you when that time come. They're gonna they're gonna snatch you up and throw you into concentration camps and they're gonna eat and, and take your food. A lot of you doing stay purpose, you're gonna be killed. So hopefully this was um edifying. This is what's coming, and it's any day now. Shalom.